the impossible trinity how free movement of capital comes with a cost now see some of this uh, you can understand better once you are taught a bit more of economy i will highlight three four things a short discussion hoga imagine that this is a country these are the banks uh, there is institution called as rbi rbi manages how the banks are operating and there is inflow of say uh, capital there is outflow of capital say investments uh, credits and so on the rbi can also manage this so rbi is here rbi is here and think of this is the world and think of a country like us uh, this is all the currencies investment jo bhi hai aur yahan bhi aata hai aur yahan se bhi jata hai a schematic to understand okay how your funds how your capitals investments come in go out so world with all the capital the world with investments in the form of dollars or whatever yahan par hai so there are three components here one is the capital inflow outflow second is the rbi controlling this or any other agency controlling this third is the control of the banks ye teen component hai this is part of what's called as your monetary policies monetary policy kya hai essentially if i put it very crudely it's about how the banks are managed i'm sure you have heard about what's called as crr what is slr the liquidity ratio maintained you know about what is repo rates you understand what is uh, reverse repo rates बैंक के कुछ बॉन्ड्स होते हैं सो ऑन ओके सो देर आर सम इंस्ट्रूमेंट सम टूल्स बाय विच द आरबीआई कंट्रोल्स हाउ द बैंक्स मैनेज देयर मनी व्हाट दे होल्ड एज देयर लिक्विडिटी व्हाट दे शेयर विद द बैंक्स कुछ रेट्स इसमें है डूइंग दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी मैनेजिंग दिस दिस इज कॉल्ड एज मैनेजिंग द करेंसी रेट्स ओके इट्स अबाउट कि डॉलर का क्या होगा विज अ वी रूपी यू मैनेजिंग करेंसी रेट्स यू आर हैविंग अ फिक्स्ड और यू आल्सो हैव ओपन कन्वर्टेबिलिटी एंड सो ऑन एंड थर्ड इज ये जो इनफ्लो आउटफ्लो इनफ्लो एंड आउटफ्लो ऑफ कैपिटल द आर्टिकल सेज दैट दीज थ्री थिंग्स कैन नॉट बी ओपन एट द सेम टाइम यू कैन नॉट हैव फ्री मनी हेयर यू कैन नॉट हैव फ्री मनी हेयर and entirely free here in tino mein all the three cannot work to your advantage completely basically it's about encouraging encouraging inflows and investment it's about controlling currency ka value and it's about the monetary policies at any given time the article says you can control only two of them अगर ये दो कंट्रोल करोगे तो ये इंपैक्ट हो जाएगा इफ यू कंट्रोल दीज टू दिस गेट्स इंपैक्टेड इफ यू कंट्रोल दीज टू दिस गेट्स इंपैक्टेड इंडिया में एज ऑफ नाउ व्हाट इज आइडियल आइडियल क्या है आइडियल ये है द मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी शुड बी एंटायरली इंडिपेंडेंट द आरबीआई शुड इंडिपेंडेंटली मैनेज मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी विदाउट एनी गवर्नमेंट प्रेशर एंड दिस शुड बी एंटायरली ओपन मार्केट शुड डिसाइड what is the currency ga value okay it should be market determined and this should be again open without any restrictions ideally ye hona chahiye ideally the inflow outflow of capital should be open the currency value should be market determined ideally and the monetary policy should be independent ideally ye teeno but the article says that three of them together are imp impossible you will end up compromising one to manage the other two this is in the context of india's rupee depreciation agar aap rupee ko karoge control to ye impact ho jayega ye karne ke liye ye independent nahi rahega you will end up impacting this so essentially the article says if a, a, a rupee uh, depreciation is managed it will impact uh, inflow of capital 
and also will result in result in uh, some independence of the monetary policy in this context mein hai. it will impact some of the independence of the monetary policy acha now the interesting discussion is abhi jo aapka nobel prize hai nobel prize winner three of them uh, ben bernanke douglas diamond and uh, uh, philip dibwick the nobel prize winners are ben bernanke douglas diamond and philip dibwick all the three of them tell us uh, bank failures bank failures they are recommending that problems like if you know about a collapse of an institution called as lehman brothers they said if the lehman brothers were bailed out okay if bailed out the 2008 crisis would have uh, been less the lehman brothers ko agar aapne bail out kar diya hota okay if you had supported them and the bank would not have failed then the 2018 crisis would have been less basically they are recommending very tight okay policies and bailout packages now ye jo idea hai very tight policies and bailout packages this fundamentally goes against the market principle this is against the free market free market principle the free market principle kya bolta hai that what is weak what's inefficient should collapse what is inefficient should be allowed to shut down don't prop them up don't support them or nanki he was the chair of the us a federal reserve when the lehman brothers collapsed aur usme us time mein lehman brothers ko support nahi kiya gaya tha they said it is corrupt the problems of uh, you know misappropriation they should be allowed to fail the same man now has research paper along with douglas diamond and philip dibig who says that this was not correct if the lehman brothers were supported the crisis would have been less severe okay iska alag view kya hai that they are corrupt they were misappropriating funds they were misusing their funds supporting them means you are somewhere supporting corruption inko support nahi karna chahiye okay supporting them when thousands of people are losing their deposits millions of people are losing their investments okay and you are supporting a corrupt institution okay now isko aap compare karo with what we are saying in this article that agar aapko economic stability chahiye you cannot have a completely free system like you must regulate some things you must regulate here you must regulate here you must regulate some amount of capital coming and going out us context mein sochwa okay so the reality is so what i am looking telling you is if you look at the world economic system the reality is the reality is that the merits of a completely completely free and market based economy and a completely free okay a monetary policy may not be healthy may not be healthy i'm not saying that we must have very very strong controls who am i care but a completely free economy a completely market based economy okay it may not be healthy the article says that bad banks uh, should be bailed out should be bailed out otherwise the impact would be more severe the bad banks should be bailed out or the impacts will be far more severe yahi yahi nobel prize ka basis hai for ben bernanke douglas diamond and phyllis dibwick isko ek aur event se aap dhyan rakhna in recent times this institution credit 
ओके स्विस एंड डॉच बैंक द बैंक ऑफ जर्मनी दीज टू बैंक और दिस इंस्टीट्यूशन दे आर फेसिंग दे आर फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम तो इट प्रोबेबली इज समथिंग लाइक द लेमैन ब्रदर सिचुएशन डू नॉट नो स्पेकुलेशन भी है बट क्रेडिट स्विस बैंक इट्स अ मेजर इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट्स अमंग द ट्वेल्व बिग बैंक दैट मैनेजेस द ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड इवन द क्रेडिट रेटिंग क्रेडिट स्विस एस यू आई एस एस ई एंड टॉच बैंक टॉच बैंक रिसेंटली हैज हैड सम प्रॉब्लम बट दे आर सेंग इज नॉट एज बिग अ प्रॉब्लम सो उस कंटे सोचो अगर कैन दीज can these institutions institutions end up end up like lehman brothers tab ab kya karenge will you allow these banks to collapse will you allow these banks to go bust okay or will you support them see if you go to the idea of ben bernanke and this team they say don't allow these banks to collapse इंडिया में कहीं ना कहीं आपने देखा है करप्शन यस बैंक वाला देखा है पंजाब नेशनल बैंक में देखा है द अमाउंट ऑफ अनवर्दी और नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स ऑफ इंडियन बैंक्स देखा है एंड द गवर्नमेंट टू सम एक्सटेंड राइटफुली अलाउड सम बिट ऑफ इंटरवेंशन यस यस करेक्ट यस यस आरबीआई शुड इंजीनियर द ट्रेजेक्टरी ऑफ फॉल बट नॉट अलाउ द फॉल इट सेल्फ फाइन एग्री Okay, so I said no. Rather than me discussing all the details of the policies, आपको ये दो तीन development ध्यान में रखना है. And these guys getting a Nobel Prize is something. I'll read out a, a paragraph. Okay, maybe I'll give an article to you also to uh, have a look. Okay, ये NDTV profit में आया है article. It says, it says the trio of U.S. economists, including Federal Reserve Chief Ben Bernanke. Okay, won the Nobel Prize. Okay, and he has laid the foundation of how the world now manages the global crisis like the pandemic or the Great Recession of two thousand eight. The trio that includes Douglas Diamond and Philip Dibwig won their research on how regulating the financial sector and propping up failing banks can stave off an even deeper economic crisis. So, as that, I mean, are you aware of these institutions called IMF and World Bank? IMF and World Bank a fundamental formula tha as a part of economic restructuring. Okay, they would say more and more of openness, more and more of a free movement of capital, reduce restrictions, reduce boundaries. Okay, the strong one must survive, the weak one must fail. Uh, the government should stop propping up. a uh, failing institutions this has been the fundamental philosophy of these institutions aur ye research thik ulta batata hai that there is merit in propping up failing banks and staving off a deeper economic crisis they say the actions taken by central banks and financial regulators around the world in confronting two recent major crises the recession of 8 8 2008 and pandemic okay were part of the motivations in this research governments around the world bailed out the banks and this created a torrent of criticisms lehman brothers to fail ho gaya but the government supported some other banks and there was lot of criticism why because lot of people lost their money their investment their banks okay but now the wisdom is that yes that these banks should not be allowed to fail so you must wait and watch what happens for these two institutions ye kafi news mein hai i'll see if i can make a, a video on this uh, credit suisse and deutsche bank of germany they are at a very precarious situation okay something called as swapping of credits kuch rates hota hai usme these two have become unfavorable now it's something like their value vis a vis their ability to default has now been questioned jaise aapka sri lanka ka default bad gaya so probably they might end up defaulting on some of those payments on the credits so watch this and uh, bernanke's ideas that uh, these banks should not be allowed to fail because 
If you support them, other problems will be managed better.